What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So we're back with another roster review. I just got off of work, so I'm super excited to be talking to y'all. So let's welcome Taken GT on my Discord. He is a part of the Knights of Kimchi. If you want to join, the link for my Discord is in the description. He goes by my GT was taken. I gotta know about that, bro. That would suck to have your GT taken away. He explained that Galaxy of Heroes name. And uh, he is a part of N. Endor's Game. That's an awesome guild name. Um, Taken, we'll, we'll just call you Taken. Or we'll, we'll just say GT. All right, GT. So if you guys are recruiting, put something in that comment section. We're always trying to help people find new guilds. So he's in Division 9, and his latest he's hit was Erodium. Man, I got like a couple of hundred of points away from Kyber. Like, I totally forgot to attack one round. You know, I couldn't full clear because I couldn't take out Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So I would have Kyber, but it's all good. All right. So he is, he, he didn't want me to take a look at his fleet, um, but we're going to take a look at it anyways. All right. So in Division 9, I always say, you know, by Division 7, you have to have two good fleets. Uh, Division 9, I think you're only facing two teams on uh, Grand Arena. Someone definitely let me know. You only need one good team. Put trash on defense, full clear your opponent. All right, let's take a look at the capital ships. I'm going to see your mama ships. Nice. So he's got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So he's got Finalizer. Awesome. So I would say just farm one good ship with that guild currency. Everyone, with your guild currency, don't buy crap gear. Make sure you're getting one mama ship. Don't spread it out. I did that. I could have a six-star negotiated by now. Now I have... 40 shards for malevolence build one first it takes a while with guild currency to get a seven star mama ship build one and then whatever gl you're getting get the other ship finalizer great job so of course you need four fleet by the time you get to division seven but you don't have to do that just build two amazing fleets to uh clear your opponent that's all you really need all right let's take a look at those regular ships so I've been putting out my videos recently. You guys have definitely got to get... Okay, so, all right, this is going to be a great example. So he's got Imperial TIE Bomber. Let's take a look at it. At six stars, it does not require any tune. You don't have to relic somebody, gear them up. All right, let's take a look at the stats. So look at that. 80,000 hell, almost 60,000 protection at six stars. Uh, at seven stars, it has the equivalent of a relic five or six boss. Like that to me is just nuts. You got to get the Imperial Tide Bomber. It's working with Empire. Okay, so go back to the top. You've got Emperor Shuttle. Wow, Royal Guard. Oh, so you go. Okay, cool. So you're going for uh, Sith Eternal. Very nice. You got Palpatine, Royal Guard. TIE Silencer, great job. Anakin ships, great. You got Snips, good job. Those two ships are amazing. You might as well be going for Negotiator. I don't know. You got Vulture Droid too. So I hope you're not building both ships. You don't need both. You just need one. Just enough to full clear your opponent. That's it. All right. And then in Division 7, there's a rare unicorn that has Negotiator and Malevolent 7-star. But like I said, rare unicorn. Maybe like two people out of the three rounds that you go through. So very rare, okay? And then goes Hounds 2. Hounds 2, great job, it's a great ship, but like I said, you got a Relic Boss to make that ship amazing, where Imperial Tide Bomber, you don't have to. You make sure you get them all, the Rebel, the, the Galactic ship, I think it's the uh, Bacon, Lettuce, Tomato, Y-Wing, it's like the B-L-Y, something like that, Y-Wing. And then you got the Rebel Y-Wing, I know they got the Vulture Droid, like this one too, Vulture Droid. Does not require a tune, that's awesome. Uh, works wonders with malevolence. Okay, and so let me know what mama should be going for negotiator or malevolence. You only need one. You already got finalizer. Very nice. Okay, he's got the regular ships. You know, bugs aren't even um, worked on. You know, that this just raise your galactic power. You know, they are good ships. I would definitely work on them. All right, let's go look at his roster okay so starting squad arena team you've got supreme leader kylo ren squad that's awesome man that's really cool in division nine bro all right let's get in this roster what <laughs> two million galactic power i had to take my my blue blockers off just to make sure wow mega fist bump so 
That to me is amazing, guys. So that's why I think these roster reviews are just so super helpful to see what people can get at different galactic powers. Bro, 2.1 million galactic power. Wow, I'm a little taken back on that. So I'm at 3.5, bro, and I don't even have one galactic legend. Wow, so I'm trying to help people avoid my mistakes. So I hope everyone really watches these roster reviews. You know, I didn't think they would take off like this. Like the roster review list is really long. You know, be patient, guys. I love Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. I like to see everyone's account. I will definitely get to you. But for now, just make sure who you relic and who you don't relic you make sure that it's the right one you know let me know uh, so for now just don't relic anyone but take a look at this roster so let's really look at this roster to have two galactic legends bro control that galactic power to have two galactic legends in division seven he is gonna dominate and win every single round I'm telling you when i review your re Re roster review you and division seven. I can't wait to see your roster. Wow, okay, so he's got Darth Vader squad, he's got um, so you got to have good, you know, core teams as well. Because yes, he's got two galactic legends, that's amazing. He could just set them both on defense and win, or you know, that that's great, but you got to have some good core squad. So that's one squad, two Vader, that's three. You're not soloing anymore with Vader and Vision 7. So that's three good teams. You only need five at most. Okay, you got Jedi Knight Anakin. You got Dartrea. Yeah, wow. Okay, so you don't have Jedi Knight Revan and you don't have a Padme squad. So I would say, dude, <laughs> all you have to do is get gas in Jedi Knight Revan and you totally be set. Well, all right, so I'm going to look through this roster first before I didn't have time to like pre look at his roster. <laughs> that man, that's crazy. Two Galactic Legends, bro. Wow, that is amazing, man. That's just nine fist bumps in a row. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right you get it, bro. <laughs> Let's look through this roster. Wow, man, that's just crazy. Dartrea, amazing. Let's see if she's modded correctly for. Soloing bugs. Okay, so you're using her for speed. So in Division Seven, everyone well, everyone has bugs. I'm sure you have them too. But mod her for critical avoidance on the arrow with Dar Scion, and that's all you would need. I mean, so let's see what's out here. Potency, yeah. So you're using her for potency. To me, I only want critical avoidance, survivability, massive amounts of tenacity. That way when I do solo with her, she's not just stunned the whole time. I can put isolate and put the protection up on Treya. So depends on what, you, what he's using. So he's definitely using um, this for an offensive squad. Let me know in the comment section, GT, what you're using your Treya for. All right, let's look through and then we'll look at mods. All right. Darth Maul, man. I love Darth Maul. Ray Park, one of the best actors of all time to play Darth Maul and Snake Eyes. He is definitely the, probably one of the best looking dark side tunes. Like somebody say someone different, like Darth Maul is amazing. Too bad he's, he's like the, the light side version of Mace Windu. Like total iconic character, but hot trash in the game. All right. Fox. Uh, I think he uh, he's great. He can one shot. Royal. When I saw that royal guard with that emperor, emperor shuttle, like there's no way he has Sith Eternal too. Wow, man. Pfft. We just became best friends, bro. <laughs> Dar Scion. That's all you would need is for backup. Critical. Of, oh yeah, good job. Critical avoidance. You know, maybe you're already already soloing with your Treya. We'll go back and look at her. All right. Yeah. That, wow. Man, I, I just, I'm like just dumbfounded, like how you could just get prerequisites enough for them to get two galactic legends at 2.1 million galactic power. Man, I'm just like, dude, armor, great job. Ness, you, you don't even need Ness, bro. Stop it. <laughs> don't work on Ness. You don't even need her. Moff Gideon, for sure. Moff Gideon's amazing. I, I run him with Darth Vader. He basically just... Powers up, Darth Vader. Definitely need to say work on your Moff Gideon. What speed do you have, man? At this two thirty-five. Mine's like three nineteen, three something like that. Just, my Thrawn's faster. I, if I need to, I'll pass Terminator to Moff Gideon. If I need to. Okay. All right. The rest are all babies. Uh, definitely. 
I talked about in my last Ross review that uh, Night Sisters are one of the only gear 11, gear 12 teams that you put on defense could actually get a hold or cause your opponent to pull a great team. Like, I ain't using gear 11 against um, Night Sisters. I'm not using gear 12. I'm using a really good B team. Or I'm having to use some relics to take out Night Sisters. I said I hate fighting them. You don't even have General Kenobi relic. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm totally joking, dude. But, man, that's crazy. A level 70 GK when you got two relic GLs. Wow, man. All right, let's go back to the top. I'm getting bummed out. <laughs> he had Watt Tambor. Great job. All right, let's go back to the top. All right, dude. Let's break down these rosters. This roster. Let's look at these mods. All right, Sith Eternal, man. Bro. At, at relic 8? I take my blue blockers off again. Oh, dude. I mean, that's amazing, dude. I, I I love the dark side. So he said that his light side is lacking. Totally acceptable, man. I, I'm all dark side, bro. Darth Kimchi. Come on. I love Empire. Uh, man, that's just... But I think my roster is heavier light side, which is funny, even though I love the dark side. Should have called myself uh, what uh, Skywalker Kimchi, something like that. <laughs> Anyways... Um, he, he says he has good mods that I like. I, I definitely see that. You know, he's only been playing for over a year. Wait, hold on. I'm looking at my notes, dude. All right. So you're definitely not free to play. You got to let me know, GT. Bro, if you're rich, I need the Dagoba pack for Hoda shards. Like, Hoda is holding me back from getting Jedi. I'm just trying to get Jedi Knight loot, bro. <laughs> And then I'm going to head towards Jedi Master Kenobi. But, hey, man, if you want to you hook me up with that Dagoba pack, we'll be best friends forever, man. But let me know. <laughs> There's no way you're free to play, dude. No way. Playing for over a year? Come on, man. Come on. Really? <laughs> All right. So, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just really excited. Like, this is so cool. You know, there's no uh, script you guys even watching this long um there's no script i just love star wars galaxy of heroes and i really enjoy looking at people's rosters and trying to help out any way i can so this to me is like a kid in a candy store man at two million galactic power that's cool bro all right modded for speed so i was always saying like this should be tenacity and this should be critical avoidance because i use my darth vader to take out sith eternal but not anymore <laughs> so you can keep that speed all right, health, protection. Yeah, so definitely. He's not even over 200,000. Like, I, I would easily take out the Sith Eternal, but <laughs> not anymore. RIP, Vader. RIP. All right. Speed, 506. I think I've seen faster, but, dude, 506 speed? Like, he's going to go three times before any one of my tunes go. Potency, great job, 108%. Tenacity, 108. Well, that's ridiculous, man. Both over 100%. Uh, physical damage. I think he does special, though. Physical, 8,800. Critical chance, 80%. Oh, pfft. yeah, he does special, bro. You know, one shot, my tunes, 12,000 critical chance. Nice. This is why you can't take Phoenix Squad up against Sith Eternal. It's just not going to work. <laughs> wow, dude. All right, let's take a look at some of these mods. So 15 speed secondary, 15, okay, okay. All right, 11, okay. So I guess you aren't, the best ones aren't on Sith Eternal. I mean, but still, I mean, he gets his base speed is just so fast. Okay. So let's go on to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So I've definitely heard that these are two galactic legends that are great to get starting off because they help, they help, heap, <laughs> they help you get R8 mats. So I've been hearing that a lot. Like I'm, jo I'm going for Jedi Master Kenobi and then uh, Lord Vader. So... I think someone told me that it's hard for me to get R8 mats and I can't do it. You know, if I got to buy it, I'll buy it. Something. Anyways, like that. But Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Relic 7. That's amazing. Modded for speed and uh, not a complete second set. It's all good. It's Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Come on. You can, You don't have to match any of them. Health, protection. Okay. Speed, 574. Okay. So anyone else who has... Um, that is above me. I know uh, Nemesis is out there. You know, good people who already have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. What makes... Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, the best. Like, you know, mirror match. How is this Kylo Ren 
if you put them on defense, how can another SLKR take them out? You know, I don't know how that works. You know, what GL takes out what GL? Definitely, someone put that in the comment section. We're all here to help each other grow. So definitely, you know, now it doesn't matter to me because I don't have a Galactic Legend, but for other people who have Galactic Legends, what makes SLKR the best? Uh, I think that's pretty fast. 574, I don't think I've seen faster. That's pretty quick. Almost 600 speed. Come on, man, get out of here. Potency, 142%. Jeez, like I said, if he spits on you, he's putting a debuff on you. Jeez, tenacity 51. I guess more potency is better on SLKR. Yeah, their damage is just crazy. Look at that critical chance. If he just looks at you wrong, he crits, right? Jeez, 123%. That's ridiculous. Wow, their lead is just crazy, too. It gives speed, mastery, critical damage, and they can't be critically hit while they have it. Oh, you know, me. wow, okay. Okay, me here was just like my uh, trying to get Jedi Knight Luke. Ah, oh, no way. All right, let's look at Darth Vader. So is your Darth Vader? Let's see how good he is. Uh, look at stats, health, protection. Pretty. Uh, oh, two seventy two. That's really quick for Darth Vader. So that's really good. Yeah, you say, you know, I think Arnold even says you want him at least 270, 275. That's really good, man. Fist bump. You're, you're definitely soloing my G as well. I guess you can solo in Division 7 with this with this Darth Vader. Uh, you could solo Geos. Potency 70%. I would say you definitely got to get that higher. Tenacity. Offense. Critical chance. Very nice. Uh, I, I, you, could, you could probably put more potency with his... Uh, Debuffing and buff where he gets more critical chance. You definitely, you could put more potency for sure. Okay, let's take a look at some of these mods. Okay, often ooh, 20 speed. Ooh, this is a nasty mod right here. Ooh, I always love looking at uh, mods on Vader. my favorite character in the game. So, what does Vader need? Offense, crit chance, potency, speed. It's all right there. That's awesome. Wow, that's really good, man. Uh, wow, nice. My speed secondary suck on my Vader. Okay, health, offense, speed. ooh, that potency is nice. It'd be super hard to get away from this mod. <laughs> Great mod. I don't think you have to. I would say stick with um, maybe a speed in a potency set would probably be the way to go. You know, when it comes to a point where I need more speed on my Vader, I'll probably look at that, but I always roll if I need to. In Division 7, like I said, you're not soloing with uh, Vader anymore, hardly ever. You know, you could, but he's needed to take out other squads. So even though your Vader could solo Geos, he's needed for bigger and better things. So I don't think I need the speed of my Vader. That's what my, my, um, that's what my Thrawn and my... Moff getting our four, but let me just use a calculator real quick. So my math is terrible. You know, when I when I go live, I could definitely ask somebody else to help out with this. But so at two seventy two speed. Where's my calculator? Come on. All right. So two seventy two speed plus sixteen from himself plus let's see eight or if you run with Palpatine another sixteen and then plus eight plus eight plus eight. Ooh. Wow, so you would outrun my Thrawn. Wow, so great job with your speed on Darth Vader. So, wow, so at three, your, your Vader's at 328 speed. That's pretty quick for a Darth Vader if you use a squad of the right tunes to get that extra speed boost. So, yeah, you, you, you would definitely, you could solo my Vader squad. Wow, that's crazy, man. I'm sorry, it's kind of not, not like a roster review, not like, not like he needs it. We're just checking out his roster and helping other people see, you know, the potential of what their tunes can be or what they could be at at certain galactic powers. Man, that's awesome. 328 speed. Good job there, dude. I, I, I think I just got lost. And th I think yeah, I already looked at your mod. Let's see. Offense. So, yeah, so this... Um, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just... Okay... Yeah, you could definitely switch this out. Okay. Offense. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I don't know. You know, with the new rework and the buff going, like I saw um, that he's going he's gonna to hit harder. So I wouldn't think. But you need more potency. So I would definitely experiment. I do have a cross that's an offense that I have, you know, save specifically for Vader. Because I had him in offense, but now, and I switched to potency because Sith Eternal, you, you have to land debuffs. And you need more potency. 
you know, the potency of my Vader is like 107%. I do have a potency cross. You know, I'll keep it just to see, you know, I don't think you need the offense. With all the dots you get from potency, you should still be able to one-shot anyone. So I would say go to a potency. Here you got crit chance. Okay, that's great. So you definitely got to get rid of this. You're not in Division 11 or 10 anymore. I would still think a Division that you're in, 9, you could still keep this. But in Division 7, this has definitely got to be critical damage. You, you need to hit hard. You know, all those relics, you know, all that health, all that protection. This definitely has to be critical um, damage. So, you know, you, this is hard to get away from 25 speed. <laughs> That would be very hard to get away from this mod, but wow. All right. Speed. Yeah, you don't have a defense. Hmm. I don't think you need the defense. I see why you have it, though. It's got 5% potency. Yeah, get rid of this. You know, keep your speed, but do a potency set. Get rid of that defense. He doesn't need defense. Your Vader should never need defense, health, protection, tenacity. You should never worry about any of that. A Vader squad should always be so fast to where if you have to worry about that kind of stuff, you you didn't check your opponent's squad or something went wrong in the battle. You should never worry about that stuff with Vader. Okay, so great job. Get rid of the defense set. Go to potency, potency cross. Yeah, that will definitely make your Vader be a lot better. Okay, Kylo Ren on mass, uh, great job. Like I say, he's mad for, ooh, defense. So I've seen that health is better. I, I've seen some videos out there. I, I don't know, defense is great too. Like this is probably an annoying Kylo Ren on mass. But now since that gas can avoid defense, you know, maybe defense mods are great because of the buff that goes to gas where he can, you know, like I said, ignore defense, protect, something like that's coming out. But defense, oh, man, this is probably a super annoying. Uh, what is the defense on him? Like 80%? Oh my god, hold on. Well, I'm super interested in seeing. Still has a super uh, viable health protection pool. Speed is heat. They're always slow. Kind of That's why they get taken out so easily. Potency, tenacity, defense. Where's that defense? Wow. Almost 80% physical damage armor. 70% on special. Wow, that's crazy. So. I bet he's super annoying. You know, you, every time you're hitting him, it's like a noodle hitting him, right? Like if you six dotted this and you six dotted that, wow, I wonder how annoying that would be. Yeah, you would definitely be over 80%. Well, I can only imagine. Um, I would say keep it, man. You know, how is your Kylo Ren doing? Like, let me know. I definitely, that's why I, I can't wait to go live. This would be to ask you this question, like, why defense? Like, is it working? Like, maybe you know something that I don't know. Like, I, I do like defense mods. I feel like, you know, it's great. You can have as much health protection as you want, but if you don't have enough defense, you know, your health protection is going to go away so much quicker. So, I don't know. I, I kind of like that. I love defense. Okay, good job. All right, Emperor Palpatine, we all know he needs speed and, ooh, no, I get away from that. Oh, I don't know. This Palpatine probably hits. His damage is probably like 11, 12,000. So, yeah, he does hit hard. I've seen some Palpatine I got up against. I, I didn't check his mods. He kind of like one-shotted somebody. All right, this has got to be potency. Ooh, offense. Offense, yeah, oh, I already knew that was offense. Speed, what do you have on the triangle? Offense, wow, this, this Palpatine probably hits hard. Let's see. He's super squishy. He's always really slow. Potency, aye, 51%. You know, he does get a 35% boost from his lead if you do use him lead, but he's got to be over 100%. You know, he only gets right here an 80% is maxed out. Oh, it's still 70% chance. So in that 70th chance, you gotta have potency to stun. There's a lot of resisting out there nowadays. Okay, so let's. Oh, sorry, I wanted to look at his special. Okay, I I told you, man. Yeah, twelve thousand. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, Palpatine can hit hard. Like if you mod him correctly, like I said, I, I've seen him. Uh, where I underestimated a team one time, he one shotted somebody. I was like, what the? Hell? That's Palpatine. All right, very nice, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, Darth Sidious. I like Darth Sidious too. Darth Sidious, Palpatine, Sith the Eternal Emperor. Emperor. Like, I, I just feel like he was the same thing. He's iconic, but he's hot trash in the game. You know, Relic 7, that's right here. I still wouldn't be afraid of this Relic 7 Sidious. Like, you'd feel like his splash would hit harder. I know he, he does a lot of damage with health or something like that. It's all a video Arnold did. But I don't have Darth Sidious, so I didn't pay attention too much. But I think he does hit harder with health. Kind of like a General Grievous kind of thing. Someone comment below. Uh, so he's always pretty quick. Okay. So let's see. 
but then live too, you know, I like to see people's really good mods. So live, I could ask, you know, GT, like, hey man, show me your best mods. I can like, hey, we're gonna get there, guys. It's gonna be amazing. Sith Trooper, the Red Crab, like this guy, um, in a lot of videos for counters, they always say you gotta take out Sith Trooper first. Because he gets, um, if you take somebody out, he gets like a bonus turn or something like that. So you got mixed match mods. So let's take a look at these gold mods here. Speed, defense, health, potency, offense. I love mods with percentages. Percentages are great, especially at Relic. So those are great percentages right there. Very nice. Okay, you got offense with offense. Nice, okay. So critical damage is always better unless you have someone, unless he can't crit or something like that. That's why he has the offense on here. Offense, defense, tenacity, because 42% defense or critical damage to me is better than 8% offense. But it's got to be maybe something where he needs the offense. Offense, yeah, he does hit pretty hard. All right. Crit chance, tenacity. All right. General Hux. I know he's got to be fast. He's a support team. Ooh, we got uh, offense. And, ooh. Um. I'm sure you know, buddy, but you know, um, you got great mind. You're six dotting them. You got to have sets, you know. Um, I always say at early divisions, having sets is super helpful because you get more bonuses. 262, I would think it needs to be fast. I think in division seven, I've seen 300, three, between 300 and 315, sometimes higher than that on general hooks. Today, I see number seven. So, hmm. So definitely, um, as we're looking at tunes, guys, anything helpful we can do for GT, we definitely put it in the comment section. Also, same thing with you, buddy. Um, any questions you have, you know, we're already in my Discord. It's super helpful. So make sure you guys join. I got my, 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 my Discord is super helpful. Everyone's uh, positive. I love it. I love the community, guys. Offense, uh, health, speed, offense, secondaries. Those are good mods. Let's see. Sorry, I know we're at hey, 26 minutes. We're already at General Hux. Hey, okay, come on, guys. Um, Anakin. We're just checking certain things now. Offense. What's your potency? Okay. 61. I would think you got to get that higher. There are some nests out there that are 170% potency. And the rule is if your nest's potency is 100% higher than the potency, or excuse me, your tenacity on your nest is 100% higher than the potency on Jedi Knight Anakin. Uh, my guild, there's members that solo Padme squads. All right. But, of course, there's not many nests that are like that out there. Kylo Ren. Okay, let's look at that. We'll just look at some uh, really good tunes that I really want to see the mods on. So, Dark Trey, like I said, you had... Offense, speed, protection, tenacity, defense. Ooh, that defense. That defense was potency. This would be a nasty mod. But defense is still good. It's like I love defense. Okay, you got offense. You, you, you want her to hit hard. I guess yeah, that's what you're using her for. You know, are you still soloing bugs with your Dark Trade Relic 5? You know, uh, health protection is respectable. I feel like she needs that critical avoidance. I know she does get 40% from her lead. She gets uh, a lot from her Relic. So what's your critical avoidance at 7.5 percent what how is that hmm i don't understand that i guess because you don't have a critical points error like um uh... oh you don't even have a lead <laughs> i'm like what the wow okay so you're only getting 25% critical avoidance. So I guess you're not using her for lead. You know, um, I didn't even notice that. So with her lead maxed out and her relic, um, she gets critical avoidance. Mine's at like 80 something percent. All right, so that's why when you hit my Treya, it's like noodles hitting my Dartreya. All right, we want to take a look at Thrawn. How fast is your Thrawn? Speed. I feel like you don't have to have a complete second set. Whatever has more speed, 295. Okay, that's very respectable. Good job. But I feel like... That's great for Division 9, I'm sure of it. Uh, but in Division 7, there are tunes that are Moff Gideon's that are like 350, 330. Like, it's sick. Moff Gideon can go really fast. So I feel like the higher you go, well, up to Division 7, I hear uh, Justin says you don't need, or someone told me, I think it was Justin, that you don't need a faster Thrawn higher than Division 7. But in Division 7, a fast Thrawn dominates. I tell you all the time, everyone, to be able to fracture or pass tournament at the end of the battle, you can't beat that. 
All right, we gotta, we gotta hurry it up. We gotta hurry it up. Everyone's probably stopped watching by now. <laughs> All right, uh, that's about it. Yeah, we're pretty much done. So back up to the top. In closing, GT man, dude, huge fist bump. That is amazing. You have two galactic legends at 2.1 million galactic power, bro. I'm still trying to get Jedi Knight Luke. That to me is amazing. You, you're done. All right, so you got Vader. You just got to get a couple of good core teams, you know, because. You still need gas, you know. I would say, well, I don't know, man. You got two Galactic Legends. So one's taking out your opponent's Galactic Legend. Then you have one to take out Gas or Darth Revan. And then after that, you're just going to face, like, at most, Jedi Knight Revan, you know. Very rarely he's on defense anymore. So you've got good teams. I would say just build one more good team, you know. Um, definitely Jedi Knight Revan squad. I, I would say for sure uh, they're amazing uh gas for sure i would think that's really all you need you know i don't think you have to go darth revan darth malik maybe not even have to get jedi knight revan you know um bad batch is doing things you know i'm just taken back i'm super happy with your roster uh, i always say the core teams jedi knight revan padme squad um let's take a look at your jedi real quick sorry guys this is going too long oh crap <laughs> You don't have any Jedi, bro. You don't even have a six-star Bass Lashon. Uh, all right, let's go take a look. You were lying. You're definitely dark side. Okay, you don't even have the tunes for Jedi Knight Revan. Okay, so I would say skip Jedi Knight Revan. Skip Darth Revan. Skip Darth Malak. Let's see. Look at your Separatists. Okay, so yeah. So you already got Padme Squad. All right. Yeah, you already got a Padme squad. Yeah, just get Padme. Uh, you got General Kenobi. Get a Padme squad and maybe go for Bad Batch. You know, I hear Bad Batch is taking out some things. So this is not really a roster review. It's more of, yeah, just my roster reaction. You already have two Galactic Legends. By the time you enter Division 7, if you just control that... <laughs> you don't even have to control your Galactic Power. You already got two Galactic Legends. Man, I'm just so taken back that this, that that is even possible at 2 million Galactic Power. So I would just say you already got a Vader. Just maybe fix, tweak his mods a little bit. His speed's already amazing. Keep his speed where it's at. Um, man, that's a great squad. Uh, you don't have old, any old Republic. You know, maybe just build. Like I said, all you need really in Division Seven is five good teams. You know, you could build an Aura Singh bounty hunter squad. That would be amazing. Yeah, I'd recommend building an Aura Singh bounty hunter squad. You would just have to relic. Bosk, and then everyone could be also be super fast, and that could take out squads easily. Yeah, so you already have two Galactic Legends. Just build two more really good squads that aren't Galactic Legends, and you'd be amazing. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed this. This has been amazing. I'm super taken back. You know, <laughs> if you enjoyed it, blast the like button. Until next roster review, Darth Kimchi signing out.